So right now I'm doing my checklist for the EP. Daytime rides, nighttime vibes. Let me be honest with y'all, like, I'm ready to drop on the inside, but on the outside, I feel like there's so much that has to get done. And time, time is running out. You know, it comes out in a few weeks. You know, I haven't been posting, I've been on my entire shit. When I'm working on a project from that time, I haven't been out. Shit, LA been shut the fuck down. We just opening up. Like, I'm in my cave just trying to make this shit together. So, this project, even though it's only an EP, this is big for me. Fisher Bay is June 4th. I was gonna drop it in May, but I, I wasn't ready yet. I wasn't mentally, spiritually, like making a, making any type of project, like it takes a chunk out of your soul. Like, I'm, the artist will understand, but anytime you sit and make a body of work for people, it takes a lot out of you. If you're making songs that you know that value and meaning, just songs about your feelings. It takes a toll, it takes a toll on you for real. Cause really you taking a piece of what's going on in here and here, you be putting it onto a song, man. It's projecting your energy out, so. Well, that's, that's how I feel it, at least. I'm at the point now with my music where I don't care, like, I don't care about pleasing people. Of course, I want people to like my music, but these songs I make now, it's like a, it's a combination of how I feel and just my vibe, really. Moving out to LA definitely, I would say, changed my sound a little bit. Um, in a good way, because I can explore more out here. The first song on the, on the EP is actually my favorite song. It's uh, Would You Be Easy. Um, I tapped in with my boy Siphon, Siphon Beats. Man, when I heard it, I was like, yo, this shit is hard. This shit hard as fuck. So, um, my dog, Easy Snap, you went crazy on it. It's the first song on the table. You know that shit about to be hard. exploration back on but you know the grind don't stop I can honestly say these past couple years I've lost a lot of supporters um, from the time I moved here from Georgia to now I had a lot of folks tuned in I did like my DMs going crazy my streams were going crazy I went, I went off the radar though. I don't, I'm not mad at myself I know why I did it moved to the other side of the country. Like, the past two years, as many good moments, this has been hella crazy moments too, man. It's been hella turbulence. But um, I knew that when I made this decision. But yeah, I did, I lost a lot of supporters. But, fuck them. <laughs> Shoot, it's more where those came from. And my new music now is more of a personal connection with me. So, yeah, man. Second track, it's one way. So, side note, as, I, as I'm making this track list, I'm really trying to have an EP to just rise from the first track to the last track. Um, daytime rise, nighttime vibes came about from 
a lot of driving. A lot of the hooks I made, even before I moved here, a lot of the hooks I made, a lot of the song ideas I came up with, it happened on the road. I will just be driving, seeing the palm trees, seeing the scenery, just vibing out. So even, even listening to other people's music, I heard it a lot while driving, man, like just being in a car. That's like one of my, that's one of my zen spots, man, in the car, just riding. So I wanted my EP to kind of reflect that. And even my songs, I know how good it feels to just be riding, no traffic. You can put that in there. Riding with no traffic and just vibing out to some good music. So um, daytime rides, nighttime vibes, that's kind of what inspired that. So um, for me, these eight songs, I wanted to be a track list that just rides from the first song to the last song. The first half, I wanted to be more um, upbeat. As you get into the second half of the EP though, um, it's still going to slow down just a little bit, but the vibe actually picks up, in my opinion. So right now, I'm just doing my track list because I wanted to match the cover art perfectly. So that's what we have with it. Um, you know, I'm gonna start doing more of these. I just wanted to, I just wanted to tap in because I know I've dropped so much music, but I never really explain like what goes on behind it. Behind every song that I make is, it's a story to it. It's just behind everything, it's a story to it. And I feel like the story behind everything deserves just as much spotlight as the actual product. Well, that's my opinion, so. I'm just start, you know, taking y'all in, taking y'all through my process of creating. But yeah, June 4th, daytime rides, nighttime vibes. Um, we'll see what happens after that. But as of right now, you know, I'm locked in. I'm ready. I'm ready to drop again. Um, you know, and I'm ready to break all the barriers. I don't, I don't believe in people setting limitations on other people. Um, I believe in the underdogs. I support the underdogs because I've been one. So. You know, that's where I'm at with it, man. After this, I'm trying to get more collabs in. But right now, this daytime rise, nighttime vibes is a slice of what's going on in here, giving to the world. So I hope the people enjoy it. I don't even know when I'm going to drop this, if I even drop it. But it's a part of history. <laughs>